How long does it take to learn a lesson? Does it happen immediately, or does it happen over a longer period of time, or is it probably a bit of both? Perhaps the better question is whether we're learning our lessons. The problem is, there's an awful lot of them. The last couple of years have brought that sharply into focus. The COVID-19 pandemic and everything that that brought with it fundamentally changed the world around us, perhaps forever. But the things that we've learned since then might not actually all be so bad. At least that's what we've been asking one of the world's leading experts on blockchain, Dom Tapscott. In some ways, the、uh, pandemic sped up many of the trends of the digital age.、Uh, In、by years and in some cases by、um, by decades, I mean we're all working, collaborating online, we're exercising online, shopping online,、uh, like we never did. The pandemic also、um, exposed some、uh, searing clarity, some deep flaws in many of our institutions, our institutions for supply chains, for example. How can it be in 2022? You know that one of the big issues facing the United States is supply chain failure. Like for a whole period of time, we couldn't get baby formula for children,、um, and but it also exposed many other things: the failure of our systems for data, for example, our healthcare systems that we couldn't. Because our data is all contained in silos owned by other people than us, we couldn't cooperate socially to aggregate and anonymize data together to say fight a pandemic. So,、um, at the same time,、um, it it stimulated many of the trends having to do with this next generation of technology. We needed AI and machine learning to. Solve some of the problems that were created by the pandemic. We saw the rise of,、uh, you know, autonomous vehicles and technology in our bodies got a big,、uh, big push. It's also accelerated changing trends around how we work together and learn lessons with our peers. Collaboration is going to be a key topic this week in Toronto at W3B. Some of the world's foremost leaders, thinkers, innovators in Web3 and blockchain are all gathering there. To talk about learning lessons and how to move forwards, the theme: digital assets, digital transformation. So, how can collaboration through events like this ultimately help technology? You know, the first web was a read web. It was a platform for the presentation of content.、Uh, the second web was a read write web, where、um, we could not only read stuff, we could take action. Was a platform for computation, whereby people could go and participate in social media. They could participate in Wikimedia,、uh, Wikipedia, and、uh, we argued in Wikinomics that mass collaboration was changing many, many things. We extended that beyond the corporation and beyond value creation to civilization, and we looked at how really the web and collaboration was changing. Uh, the deep structure and architecture of all of our institutions,、um, the way that we do science, medicine,、uh, education, universities,、um, things like transportation,、um, government, democracy, and so on. And now we have the Internet of Value, and、uh, Bitcoin, of course, was the first app. This Internet of Value, but but the Internet of Value or blockchain brought with it a new web. Web three, where we have a read-write own web, where you can not only take action, we can deal with assets and value, and we have a platform that enables a whole new set of possibilities to actually own the assets and the value、uh, that we create. Let's just take NFTs as an example of that. Last year, something in the region of 25 billion US dollars in non-fungible tokens was traded. Much of that trade actually came from one source in particular, Axie Infinity. As blockchain gaming finally started to become popular, it was the Philippines that seemed to be at the heart of it. While many fewer Filipinos are now making money as Axie players, it still changed the way that many look at Web3's potential in their lives. 
It also demonstrates how quickly digital assets are transforming things and in ways that few might have imagined. We're digitizing all assets, everything, not just money, but securities and all kinds, uh, intellectual property. We're digitizing uh, cultural assets, um, call them and NFTs, of course, has exploded uh, during this period. But, um, but also sort of tokenizing or, or, or digitizing natural assets like carbon credits has really exploded during this period. Or you, you can even not just synthetic natural assets, but physical assets like a barrel of oil or something like that. So um, we saw central bank digital currencies explode. Um, really driven largely by China, um, with its DCEP rolling that across uh, Southeast Asia into um, Africa and along one belt and one road. And the Fed woke up and started to wonder if the, the US dollar's hegemony as a global currency could be undermined by this, which of course it can and likely will be. So, um, Th this whole part of the story, DeFi, took off uh, as well. With all of that said, then, where are these foremost leaders, thinkers and innovators looking ahead to? There's no one big thing that's happening. Um, you know, change is happening on all of these different levels. I guess that when I think about what's really big, I think about what's big in the world and how this whole new historic next generation of technology can make an impactful difference. Learning lessons, of course, is a very hard thing to do, but if we're going to do it, we need to be able to reflect on what's working and what's not, and to do that, we need to collaborate and work together. Speaking of digitizing assets, here's also a quick reminder that Forecast's latest Crypto Rising livestream event is coming up. It's at 9pm Eastern, November the 14th, 9am Hong Kong time, November the 15th. Forecast Editor-in-Chief Angie Lau will be leading the conversation into why some investors and VCs are betting big on digital asset startups despite the crypto winter. Sign up at forecast.news or by clicking the link in the description down below. That is it for this episode. Like and subscribe for more content like it.